here we go. Life is a blast when you know what you're doing. Best to know what you're doing for your life get ruined. Life is a thrill when your skill is developed. If you ain't got a skill or trade, then shut the hell up. What's up, everybody? Pal702, back today with another installment of We Awesome. Today we have a single coil RDA. It's called the Digi RDA. Now, when I first got this, I thought this was Digi Flavor, so I was looking on the Digi Flavor site and I couldn't find the thing. Don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. And then I realized that it's Ultima Digi RDA. A little deceptive on the name, because you think a Digi Digi Flavor? Worst day of my life, what do you think? I've never heard of Ultima or the Digi. But uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go downtown. I'm gonna show you all around the Digi RDA, put a build in it, listen to some excellent music. Pop back up, pros, cons, and maybe a giveaway. Looks like there's a lot you don't know about. You know how we do it. All right, so the Digi flavor, no. The, <laughs> right, so it is the Digi RDA by Ultima. It is a single coil. Let's check out the box here. Nicotine is highly addictive. I'm just gonna show you that. Maybe I'll throw in that too. So now you have two warnings in the video and I'm just not gonna stop it. All right, and on this side right here, you have what's in the kit. It has one Digi RDA, two 510 drip tips, ultimate black, two adjustable airflow, like rings that go on the top, ultimate black, black Delrin, excuse me. Two caps, ultimate and black Delrin. You have one bag of spares, a, a squonk pin, and a screwdriver. And on this side right here, Here's your specs, 20, it's, this is a 22 millimeter single coil, and this is the black rendition right here. Single airflow, we're gonna go over all this stuff. Let's see what we got. Let's do some extras first. So in your spare baggie of parts, you get the little mini blue screwdriver, you get several O-rings, you get some grub screws, and that right there is your squonk pin right there. That was my phone. All gold plated. All right, and this is the Digi RDA by Ultima. This right here is your Ultim spare cap. And I will break all this down for you in a second. And your deck is inside here. Both these top caps are identical. So I'm just gonna break down this Ultim one for you really quick and then I'll show you the deck. So the way that this guy here works, it's a 510. There's your 510. Got the O-ring. Now, there's no name or any type of branding on either one of these caps right here. This is obviously the Ultim one, and, but you see right there how it kind of points down. It's almost like an arrow pointing down. This is where your air flows at. And this ring up top here, this little guy right here, opens and closes your airflow, which is right here. When you draw air in, air will come straight down and the air will travel down this tunnel right here and then it'll make its way up hitting your coil hopefully and then coming out up top and you get the vapors so this little ring right here you just want to line it up with these two lines right here so that right there is wide open and to cut it down you just turn it to either side that's it kind of a slick little airflow system very, very, very small. All right, so this is the Delrin, the black Delrin one, which is identical to the Ultima one I just showed you. So we'll just look at the bottom of this because the actual deck is inside this guy. It has DG and serial number down there. And that will be your gold plated 510 pin. So this does not come squonk ready. So you're gonna have to put your squonk pin in, which is nice. You have peak insulator. You have some fucking symbol. I don't know what that is. It kind of looks like a rabbit or maybe a jack-o-lantern. I don't know. From up here, that's what it looks like. I'm just telling you guys. And then right there, you can see that this screw right here, anytime you see a screw like this on your deck, 
and you have a removable 510, nine times out of 10, that's gonna be so you can remove your negative. So what does the Ultima Digi RDA have underneath the hood? That is what she has underneath the hood. And just in case you think I was lying, the inside of this cap is identical. Totally the same. This it might be hard to pick up on, but this is a 22 millimeter deck right here. First thing we'll go over is that airflow. I'm gonna use the Ultim because it's probably easier to see, but so you can see that hole right there. That is where the air comes out and the air is gonna go through this side of the deck and then I'll turn this around and you can see where it enters. So it just comes straight down and then it's gonna come straight in like this and then come up. So you're gonna want to have your coil at least halfway. My feeling is the closer you can get it to this, the better, just because I don't know how far this air is gonna go in before it goes up. You can see it's got a couple of O-rings right here and here and then Right here now, this is going to be your positive post. You can barely see in there the insulator. So that's going to be your positive. That's going to be your negative. Both of them can be removed as indicated by that extra Phillips head screw on the base of the deck right there. And the juice flow on this one's probably about four millimeters, but it really doesn't matter because in order for this thing to leak, it's going to have to squonk, you're gonna have to squonk all the way up through this hole and it's gonna have to come out of right here. So you're virtually leak proof on this. And last but not least, you can see it has those super tiny flathead screws that I can't fucking stand. It's got those on there, so it's got that going for it as well. Tiny flathead screws, it's just like fucking nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> It just is, but they're kind enough to give you one of these little screwdrivers. And, and other than the fact that they suck, like they're not that bad, okay? They suck, but it's not like the end of the world. So if you like this thing, don't let this discourage you by any means. The secret is that I have two of these, so I was able to show you a totally clean one. That's a totally clean one, which will be given away. And then this, this one right here is the one I've been vaping on since I got it. That's why it's so juicy up in this joint. You see it, it's all juicy and shit. Like I had the squonk flowing. Look at the squonk pins already in it. So please note that, that I have switched RDAs. It's the exact same Digi RDA, but as you can see, I've installed the squonk pin and I did it when I first got it because I wanted to squonk this thing and I didn't want to put everything back because, well, I had two so I could be fucking lazy. So yes, this is a different deck and I have the squonk pin in. Squonk pin is protruding. Hit it. Yeah. 
And that was some Dead Kennedys, Too Drunk to Fuck. We've all been there. And more importantly, the Digi RDA by Ultima. Let's take it for a rip. 47 watts, blowing them clouds. Maybe a little bit less. 40 watts, blowing them clouds. Was better. Right, so we're gonna do pros and cons. We're gonna start off with the cons and end with the pros because we always end on a positive note around here. Yes. Cons on the Digi RDA by Ultima. First con is gonna be the fact that I fucking call it Digi Flavor and I've called it Digi Flavor in this review like 30 times, but Marjorie's gonna edit it out. What? <laughs> okay. But first con is, why the fuck are you calling it Digi RDA? Like, you know you're trying to ride off the coattails of Digi flavor. I thought it was a Digi flavor RDA that I just never heard about when I got it. So you fooled me. So I don't know if that's, that's a con on me too. It's a con on me and it's a con on them, okay? It's not a con on you guys, but if you mix it up, then it's a con on you guys. Second con on this is going to be those little fucking tiny grub screws flathead that I hate. Knock it off and make yourself a dang quesadilla. Fine. You could see the another con, like the legs like to come out. I've had a couple extremely small build in here. That's like an itty bitty fuse clapped and with a 40 wrap on the outside that's in there right now. There's been round wire in there, but regardless, when you go to tighten those down, the legs kick out. So you have to just hold it and tighten it down. Not a big deal, but something to point out. Jeez. Subjective con is gonna be this is single-sided airflow, which I've never liked except for the Hermetic, which we, 0609, sent me. I'll post a link right here. Now, the Hermetic was the outlier. I saw it, I was like, I'm gonna fucking hate it. It's single-sided airflow, but I think because the airflow was so big and it had an 810, it gave me a lot of flavor and a lot of satisfaction. Well, things are getting pretty serious right now, I mean. Being this is a one-sided airflow, and I don't even know if I believe this, but this is what I've come to believe over my investigation of these things, that if it's got big airflow on one side, I don't mind it. But when it's restricted and only one-sided, I don't like it. Really? I have dual-sided singles that are about as restrictive as this. This is about as restrictive as the, maybe a touch more than the D-Pro Mini. That sounds pretty good and then another RDA, which I'll be doing on Monday. And they're very close to how tight the draw is. The difference is when I get from both sides, it just, it, it's just more of a balanced vape. On the Hermetic, the Hermetic was so big, I couldn't tell which side the airflow was coming from. On this one, when I vape it, I know exactly where, where I can feel where it's coming from. So the Hermetic did not cure me of not liking single-sided airflow, but it did open my mind, man. It opened my mind. Let's go to pros yes. on the Digi RDA by Ultima. First pro, two caps. You get an Ultima one. Well, if you get this, it's gonna look just like that. You got a Black Delrin and you got Ultima. Black Delrin, Ultima. So, single, Coil RDA, two caps, one pro. Are you gonna eat your tots? Ultim, I gotta give it another pro for Ultim because I love Ultim, but it just didn't look right on the Pulse 80 watt. Right on. Right on. Next pro is going to be, it does have flavor. You do get flavor. I'm not trying to influence on what you like. I'm just trying to explain my taste in it as possible. You can say that again. If you don't mind one side of airflow and you like a restrictive vape, then this does give you good flavor. 
it is very restrictive though. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. It's very restrictive. It's, you don't have anything that's a dual side of airflow that's more restricted than this, unless it's like straight up mouth to lung, which I'm pretty sure if you cut this thing down enough, you could do it. But I mean, this is, this is restrictive. A little loud too, but f overall flavor, it's decent. Oh, oh, oh. The biggest pro on this thing is gonna be for squonking. What? It is virtually impossible to leak this thing. It has to come up through that little tube and then it's gotta come out. It's gotta come out. See, it's so small, can't even see it. It's gotta come out right there. Right at that top part right there. So you gotta fill this whole thing up and it's gotta travel up the tube and then out this thing, which is not gonna happen. So the biggest pro on it for me is it is really killer on a squonker. So if you're into super restrictive and you don't mind one sided airflow, no, not yet. And you're all about stuff that will not leak, then this is definitely something you want to check out. The price on the Digi RDA 22 millimeter by Ultima. Twenty five bucks. What? It's $25, unless you win one of these two. Yes, two. I will be respectfully piffing mine, paying it forward. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. First of all, thank you, Wee, for sending this in. It's been very educational on single-sided restrictive airflow. Watch this. Ah! What the heck are you doing? That's what I'm talking about. I better go. So thank you, Wee 609 You are the man. You're a fucking legend. I can shut up. Go eat a decroted piece of crap. If you guys are into very restrictive, single-sided, 22 millimeter atomizers, then all you gotta do is leave a comment. You don't have to like, you don't have to dislike, you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to unsubscribe, just leave a fucking comment. Oh, come on, give me some of your thoughts. No, I'm freaking starved. I didn't get to eat anything today. All right, that's how it works around here. It's nothing fancy. There's no randomizer. I just usually pick and I'm like, oh, that, that dude's fucking cool or that, that girl's pretty cool. Like, there, done. That simple. So that is all that I have for you guys on this glorious We Wednesday. <laughs> which is hump day, my favorite day other than payday. I just don't worry about the future. I don't know what's going on out in your world today. I don't know. Hopefully, it's a glorious hump day for you guys. But for me, around here, on my single sided as fuck, Digi RDA Ultima, which has flavor. It is definitely all love. I'll see you guys on Friday.